Warning! This video is my first Let's Play ever. If you are not prepared for my experience, please leave now. Otherwise, enjoy the video. <laughs> Hello guys, and welcome to my wonderful Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. As you can see there. Um, this is a wonderful game. I have to say, but um, as you can see, I have my test file just sitting there because look at it in all its glory. But now I'm going to play under T F two Brownie, as that is my wonderful name, and it barely fits, but it fits. So yeah, it's wonderful. Now we're gonna start, and we're going to start a new game. Because, yeah. Oh, reading. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend help. I didn't read it. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once raged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. Ooh, a journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. Ooh. Sounds a bit tragic. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Ooh. Sounds like a fairy somewhere around here. But, anyways. So. I haven't done a Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. I might do that soon. And I might post it on the. I might post it on YouTube. But for now, we're going to do Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is good because it's got this wonderful thing. Oh my god. Fairies. Who doesn't who doesn't love fairies? That, Cause I have to tell you, fairies are pretty annoying, I mean. After that whole adventure with them and so we're just in the Lost Woods, I think, in a random part of the Lost Woods, which I've never seen before, and oh my god, they scared my horse, I flew on my horse, oh no. Um, oh no, oh no, it's the Skull Kid. Hehe, <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Just walk towards him. Stop. Keep walking. <laughs> Just flip him over. Yeah. That's, that's something you should be doing. Oh no, he's got my ocarina. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, skill kid, let me touch it. I want to see. <laughs> oh no. He stole it. You can't tell. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Ah, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Because it's mine and you should give it back. Link does not look happy. He... <laughs> oh, you've done it this time. Get over here! <laughs> oh no. Stole my horse. Get back here. Grab onto your... Grab onto the horse's leg. Holding on for dear life. Hoping I don't fall off. It looks like the Skull Kid's kind of holding on for dear life too. I, oh, we're going deeper into the woods. I really hope while I'm holding on here, we don't turn a corner and I hit a stump or anything. Oh, God. I turned a corner. I hit my head pretty bad. I may be dead. I think I'm dead. But just in case, if I'm not, I'm going to try and chase after this guy. So we're going to roll around a bit. He went 
probably this way, so I'm not sure how you would do that on a horse. Through this door. And, oh my, it's a giant pit of death. Not what I was looking for. Oh no. I seem to have fallen. with that stupid horse of yours. It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> Aw, boo-hoo, why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now, do you really think you could beat me as I am now? Fool! Oh no. What are you doing? What's what's happening to Link? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so trippy. Uh, I'm surrounded by Deku scrubs. Oh my god. Is this my head or is this like actually happening? Run. Ah, oh, get it out. Get it out. Help me. Big chased giant Deku scrub. Oh no. What? Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 Thanks for that. It really helps my self-esteem anyways. Sis! Oh no. They got separated. Uh, whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. <laughs> Trying to open the door. Clearly not gonna work. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Decker boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What? Is there something stuck in my face? Will you stop staring and just open the door for me? Please, come on. I hope this little girl is asking you, so hurry up. No, oh, Tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. I'm starting to think that you think that this is all my fault. Seriously. Um, nothing much more to do with this only... Okay, so we're going through here. I, I don't think I really want to read this. I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, so then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skunk kid. My name's Tattle, so, uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now we got all that straightened out, we can stop messing around and get moving. If I figure out something out, press the up C and I tell it to you. I have no idea what she's talking about, but okay. No, I don't need to listen to you. I've done this several times before. I know what I'm doing. But, I think... Um, I think I'll meet up back with you. Oh man, I could have got some like deco nuts or something in the grass. Oh jeez, hold on, guys. No, I didn't find any deco nuts or anything. Clearly, I thought I thought there would be deco nuts in the grass or something. So I looked around, didn't find anything. Anyways, um, we can open this chest. Oh yes, this is where we get the Deku Nuts. There we go. This be while flying to drop up a Deku Bomb. Upon impact, it makes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. Wonderful. 
Although, I don't think I'll be using them, so I'll probably end up losing them later. They'll, but I'll just use one now, because I can. Although, it does absolutely nothing to help. So, we go to, through here. And make it, make it, yes, okay. No, I don't want to press Z. It's just to practice Z targeting, which you get used to pretty quickly in this game. I mean, it's not hard, but I mean, it's strange, but the way you look right now, so it looks like this tree looks a little dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. That is pretty sad. It's pretty depressing, actually. Not gonna lie. Um, moving through here, it's a twisting hallway. Reminds me a lot of the forest temple, but it looks a lot different. Um, yeah. It's not, what, what are we, upside down or something? I have no idea. Um, but, yeah. So, going through here, and up these stairs. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm recording this at almost 12 o'clock at midnight, which is a problem. But don't worry. No, I didn't get to the door yet. I was still on the stairs. Okay, you met with a terrible fate, haven't you? And she hides. You're, you're, you're smart to hide. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I've been following you. I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why to someone like you, it should be by no means a diff be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. So, okay, now it's time we step out into the real world and see what this place is about. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remaining. We're in South Clock Town. We're all set to go. We're ready to begin our adventure. Um, just giving us a general overlook of the place, I guess. Looking around. Oh, God. Gotta stop yawning. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking out loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. He, she watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Okay, let's go. Cool. Um, just a quick thing to mention, that, the dog, he's trying to kill us, basically, and unless, I, I should probably, like, spin out of the way here, <laughs> um, when we're in Deku form, that dog will, like, do whatever it takes to try and just kill us, it's pretty sad, just gonna say, um, mm-hmm, So, yeah, the fairy fountain right through here, and we walk in, there's no great fairy. Oh no, the great fairy! Well, yeah, there is, but I mean, they, they don't look right. Young one, please hear my plea. I've been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked scout kid. Please find the one straight fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. So yeah, there is a lost stray fairy somewhere in Clock Town, and 
it's my job to try and find her. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So this is pretty much what we're going to be doing for this episode. We're just going to be finding the one piece for the straight fairy after a lot of cutscenes and such. Oh no. Wait, wait, hang on! What is this guy? Oh. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Oh, that's nice, but I wasn't even going to try and use it. I just walked next to it and it just stopped me. Like, okay. Well, I was just trying to go through here. Which, through here, is the stray fairy. Which, I can just hop across the water. Please hear my plea. The masked scale kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. So we just hop over the water. And, yeah, that takes care of that. So we really can just go back to the stray fairy's room. No problem there. So after lots of spinning, lots of, lots of spinning, get to North Clock Town. Here's the fairy's fountain. Mm, yep, nothing. Just bringing back a stray fairy. Pretty cool. It's pretty alright. It's alright. Yeah. And we have the stray fairy, which I've. Hmm. Lot, a lot of things can be said about the 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 great fairy. I mean. Oh God. <laughs> the title and young one of the altered shape. Thank you for turning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought the masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. <laughs> magic power. Well, that's nice. That's... Oh, that's useful. Get a magic meter. I can do wondrous things with the magic meter. Oh my god. And... Ugh, so much power! You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubble blast. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that ki child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I may I shall give you more help. Well, that gives us our mission. We need to return to our former self, and then... Right now I'm just going to do spins. That's how I'm going to get around with, as Deku Link. <clears throat> and, um... I think this is this is the point where I'm going to end this episode, and next episode we will finish the first cycle of days, and we will return to our normal selves. This I am Tier Two Brony, and this has been my Let's Play Majora's Mask, and I will see you next time. Take care, guys.